Alright guys, it's so windy here. Um, we're going to walk just around our local estates, hopefully catch some good Generation 2 Pokemon. My eyes are watering, it's so windy. Alright, so a Marl's just popped up for Jack. I'm going to show you Jack catching that Marl just now, hopefully. Woohoo! Okay guys, so a Snubble's popped up as well. Hopefully it stays in. Yeah, you got it! I got it! Right, let's go... A Lady Bar! Alright, get that first then. And a Sentry. Or whatever it's called. I don't know what it's called. Sentry. Sentry, that's the word. Got it, yes. Gotcha. Got him. Sentry popped up as well. Yep. Oh. And I'm going to evolve Lady Bar. Got him. Got it. I've got a Murkrow popped up. It's so hard to do this when you're filming. <laughs> Got an Eevee! Got the Eevee then. I need them so I can get an Umbre and Espeon! I've already got it named. Murkrow. Cat! There's quite a lot going to be here actually. What? There's quite a lot of Pokemon going to be here. Yep. Centrates and Eevees. I'm going to go for the Eevee. I want to get a better Umbreon than I already have. Wow! Daddy look! Oh god, that went from my house. Yeah, I just got that Murkrow. What Marco. is this Eevee? 229, that's not that great. Mine's I can't hear it. Oh, I can't do this when I'm recording. <laughs> okay, that's better. In my right hand. Come on, Evie. Yes! Got 20 Evie candy, so I can do another evolution just now as well. I'm gonna do it. Will it be an Umbreon or an Espeon? Bone my luck, it will be a bloody Jolteon. A Flareon, actually, I always get in there. Come on, Umbreon, Espeon, Umbreon, Espeon. Jolteon, I said it! <laughs> 704 CP, rubbish. It's so bloody windy, look. It's so windy. We need to, we to make a stop because Jack's running out of Pokeballs, so we need to run over while Jack buys some Pokeballs. I now have 100 Pokeballs! Yahoo! Dad! Oh, a Shuckle's appeared. <laughs> I need a Pokemon! I need that as well. Oh, don't run out of way, whatever you do. It's not appeared for me. I've only got an Eevee. An Eevee! Yeah, but oh, Shuckle, that's a new Pokemon for me. New Pokemon bonus. Dad, Eevee's new Pokemon bonus for me as well. Because I need, like... Yeah, guys, I caught it! Hey. Shuckle, oh, shut up. Steelix! Shut up. Those are my sightings. <laughs> what, Steelix on the sightings? Yeah. Let me see. Well, not the sightings, my Pokedex. So we, lit we stay literally, literally nothing but fields. Fields and grass and farms where we are. So it's kind of hard to get any decent, decent catches. Well, we get some good catches, but we're not near a built up area with loads of Pokestops and stuff like that. So, filming Pokemon Go here, it's not the best. Well guys, it's still a really good spawn point for Eevees. You get a lot of Eevees here. You do get a lot of Eevees here, that is a good thing. Okay, so one of the bad things about where we live is that there's no Pokestops here. We have to walk up to the actual town centre, but this little woodland bit next to where we stay. One, two, three, four, six, five. Six or seven Pokemon just randomly spawned here. Oh. This never happens where we stay, so this is awesome. 
It's so mucky and dirty here. Watch where you're going. We've got to walk through all this to get home. Yep, we're up there. Oh, it's so dirty and mucky. Watch uh, where you're going. I'm stuck waiting right in Just a watch it off that. We can go up there. We can go up this way. Across here. We can go up across here. Um, no, no, down this way. Oh, well, aye, that'll do. Right up here. Play with this hill. Yeah, you can walk oh. again. Oh my god, All of that down there, it's so mucky. Like, the tractors go up and down here, so you get so much dirt going up and down there. But we found this little secret passageway that we can go up through there. So that's one of the downsides to living out here in this kind of countryside as well, that you have to put up with all these mucky trails if you want to go anywhere. And also the train tracks, like, right behind there. One's right behind my house, so it's so noisy all the time with trains going up and down. <laughs> Back in the house now, nice and warm. <laughs> so to finish off this video, I'm gonna do some evolutions that I still have to do, some of the new evolutions that I still have to do going from, from the second generation, and some forced evolutions just because I'm gonna pop a lucky egg and get them all done at once. First thing we need is my phone on the screen. See that? Magic. Um, and I've got a hop up and a hoot hoot up just now, so I'm gonna catch those two. Hopefully they're not too high actually because I've already favorited all the Pokemon that I'm going to be evolving so just to make the process a bit quicker because they're all just sitting there ready to evolve. Oh god, I, sh I should have popped the lucky egg before catching this, but anyway, right. Okay, so hop up is caught. Let me go in and pop the lucky egg. Lucky egg popped. Hoot hoot, catch him before we do the evolutions. Just because you get double XP obviously, every time you open a lucky egg, double XP. And then that's obviously the key to leveling up. Both Pokemon caught first time actually, that was awesome. <laughs> okay, let's go in and do the evolutions now. So, I've got these all favorited here, ready to evolve. What I'm gonna do is just go through them, Ponyta into Rapidash. I've got a few Rapidash, obviously nothing too exciting for me there, but XP. It's gonna be quite a high level as well, because this is an 800 Ponyta. 1263, not bad. Um, Sandra into Sand Slash. Should get about 15, 16,000 XP, a bit more because actually there's going to be a couple new Pokemon here. Then from the new ones that I have to evolve is going to give me some new new Pokemon, so they get the new Pokemon bonus. Science Last isn't new, 12, 20, 12, 91, no, not bad. Um, he's not new, I already have him. Eevee, oh man, I don't have enough Eevee candy, I thought I had 25. Evolved one earlier in the episode, stupidly just did it out of impulse there with 200 Eve, CP Eevee, such a waste. And it gave me a jolt on as well, which, yeah. Okay, para, Paris Evolve, 11.32 Parasect. Swinub, I have, there's so many Swinubs running about here, honestly. I don't know if just because, like, as, like I said in the video, we don't actually stay near any, well, there is Pokestops, but you have to walk a good bit to get to them. There's none just like in the close vicinity. Um, you have to walk to the town centre to get them. But round about us, it's just kind of fields and grassland, and there's loads of these little, oh, 1667, wow. Rubbish moves though. <laughs> and there's loads of just grass and fields around about us, so you do, get, you do get a few Pokemon popping up every now and again, but you have to, you, you have to wait for them to pop up. They don't just spawn like crazy like they do in like city centers and stuff. Okay, new Pokemon evolution into Wobbuffet. I've actually caught a Wobbuffet before, so I'm not going to get the new Pokemon bonus, but there is two I think I'm going to get new bonuses for. There's two new Pokemon I'm going to get in these this evolution set just now. Oh no, that wasn't Wobbuffet. What am I talking about? That is a new Pokemon. Quagsire. Oh god, why was I thinking Wobbuffet? It's because they look really similar, yeah? Nice. 1407, what's the moves like? 100? Not bad. Okay, a new evolution as well. Spinarak into Ariados, but I already have one of those, so... Although the one I caught was like 200 CP, so this one's actually pretty decent. 1056, not bad, not bad. Um, another new evolution, Ledipa into Ledian. Already have him, so again, no bonus. Sentry, there's so many, look, 73 candy. So many Sentries here, but this is a new, I haven't actually evolved any yet. I've just been like farming them and catching them. Um, Sentry, Sentry isn't bad as Swinub. Swinub's like the new Weedle, it's just everywhere. But Sentry is quite common around about here as well. So we're gonna get a Furret just now, which is gonna be my first one, so extra XP. Furret, registered to Pokedex 1164. 
Not bad, not bad. I can evolve another one. I'll do that just now. Nearly another two. Maybe another two. You get a candy for evolving, I think, so probably another two. Yeah, I can. <laughs> phone is so warm right now. Honestly, like, Pokemon Go burns your phone like crazy. Like, you, most of the time my phone's very cold. It never gets warm unless I'm playing Pokemon Go and then it gets very, very warm. Okay, Hoppip, this is actually going to be a new evolution for me. The thing is, you catch a lot of Hoppips trying to be here as well, but their so CP is so bad. I can't even remember what Hoppip evolves into. I can't. It's totally gone. It's been so long. Is that Skiplum or something? Skiplum? It's been so long since I played, like, Pokemon Gold or Silver, so the Johto region is still... Yeah, Skiplum. I was close. I did recognise him. 17,510 XP. Awesome. I think that's me done. That's all my evolutions done. I'm still loving this new update to Pokemon Go. Generation 2 has just made this so much better than it already was. If you enjoyed this episode and you're loving Pokemon Go as well, the new update, please do leave a big massive thumbs up. I would really appreciate it if you could do that and leave a comment below as well. Let me know what your best catch is in the comments below or what's got you most excited about the new update. Thank you guys again for watching and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. But for now, Kiwi out.